let me bum you out more and then come back and cheer you up more. Okay. Okay. So, so far when I told the story, either I give you the Nickbot 2000 or I give it to your boss. But of course the Nickbot 2000 is itself produced. It's an AI product. Maybe it was produced by OpenAI, maybe by Meta, whatever. They're all engaged in a space race. If one of them wins, one of them produces the brilliant AI and patents it, then we now have a monopoly provider of Nickbot 2000s. Let's say Google wins. In fact, let's just say, I don't know, let's say uh, XAI, Elon Musk wins. Yeah. And he's now the monopoly provider of the Nickbot 2000. That means that your boss can either call you and pay you $500 a week or call Elon Musk and ask for a Nickbot 2000. Elon Musk is a monopolist. He realizes your boss's next best choice is to pay you $500. So he'll sell the Nickbot 2000 for $499. So now your boss buys it. You're out of a job again. Your boss is $1 better off. So both workers and capital, as conventionally defined, get screwed. And Elon Musk is rich as. And so we see a lot of technologies that end up monopoly-ish. Think of search, right? That a lead in technology can be self-perpetuating. There's learning by doing. Sometimes there are network effects. Um, And so the tech sector is full of these giants that are often ruled by themselves in a sector. And maybe AI has those characteristics. And if that's the case, then the monopoly provider essentially will gobble up all of global GDP because they'll sell the robot at the value it creates less a penny. Uh, The employers will buy that. The employers make a penny. The workers make nothing, right? So it's actually worse than you think. And even worse than that, actually, the monopolists, there's a standard economics result, which is monopolists have a tendency to raise the price and sell less than is socially optimal. So we'll actually get less AI use than we should. They charge high prices monopolies. And so therefore fewer bosses use them at all. And so GDP might even be smaller. Okay. There's a weird, and I think frankly, miraculous thing happening right now. There is genuine and profound competition in AI, right? There's open AI, there's Anthropic, there's Meta, there's DeepSeek, there's blah, blah. There's a long list and it's genuinely competitive. So what is the price of AI right now? Well, in a competitive market, prices fall. It's always worth servicing another customer as long as you can get a price at least as high as your marginal cost. Mm-hmm. And the marginal cost of, you know, a thousand queries might be one cent. And so therefore the price of a query is a fraction of a penny. And that's actually where we are right now. Like mm-hmm. it's kind of extraordinary how cheap – open AI's products are and anthropics are. And in fact, those prices are falling, um, you know, they're halving every few months. This is a dramatic deflation in the, well, it's not deflation because it's not general. It's a dramatic price reduction, um, sort of a, a Moore's law type thing going on, but even more rapid and even more dramatic. So because of the miracle of competition, Elon Musk can't charge your boss $499 for the Nickbot 2000. In fact, he and his rivals will keep underbidding each other until they get down near their marginal cost, which is awfully close to a penny. And so now they sell the Nickbot 2000 to your boss for a penny. And now at least your boss makes a profit. Um, So competition is actually saving us right now. We don't have to regulate ownership because when you have enough competition, the forces of competition prevent the worst outcomes. How confident are you that competition will continue? I don't know. Um, And so another way of saying this, remember a moment ago I said it's not that we have an AI problem, we have an ownership problem. Now I think some of the most important consequences would suggest it's not that we have just an ownership problem, we have a competition problem. If we don't maintain competition in this space, someone will monopolise it, gobble up all of world GDP and maybe even slow innovation. So now regulation of competition in this space seems really, 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 really important. So that's the next debate we should be having.